Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? Well, you can see from the video that I have this video title that I have decided to really kind of get more information on Miss Adrian um, because I can still see in comments on different videos that people are still really trying to understand her. And so they're like throwing all these labels out at her. Here's the disclaimer. I've never met her. I've never done a psyche vow on her. But I have 25 plus years in the treatment of people with mental disorders. And so, you don't have to, in, our, in my world of psychology, I, I don't need to be Freud to understand exactly what Adrian is. And I said it in my last video, if you haven't seen it, where I gave her, Cynthia, and Walt a diagnosis. But I want to talk more about her diagnosis that I've given her, but obviously I don't know her. This is based on what her content has been, what she said and her behaviors. So I stated that I believe she has borderline personality disorder. So you can look up what that official disorder is. Um, we use a manual called the DSM-5 where all of our diagnoses are. So you can look there, you can look it up on the internet, but I'm going to give you the watered down definition and what we see as far as behaviors are concerned with people who have borderline personality disorder. Now, it is not a very common disorder. I've been in the field for over 25 years. I might have treated three to five people with borderline personality disorder. One reason is, is that I personally don't like to treat people who have borderline personality disorder and I'm going to explain why in a second. When you hear what the behaviors are and the symptomatology of the disorder, you'll understand why it is very difficult to treat someone with borderline personality disorder. As a matter of fact, a lot of us in the field call them shit starters because they constantly start shit. And we can see that with Adrian, which is one reason why I gave her that diagnosis. She enjoys starting shit. They are attention seekers. Negative attention, positive attention, whatever. They, they are driven by attention. So the fact that we are giving um, Adrian all of this attention by making videos about her, watching her videos, is really feeding her psychosis. It is feeding it. She is driven by it. So people are like, you should be upset about the way you talk to your brother and told his business on the internet. She's not. That is part of the mythology of her diagnosis. She has little to no empathy. So she doesn't feel bad about when she talked about beloved, when she talked about her mother, her sister, her brother, her cat. That does not bother her. Oftentimes when we're dealing with people like a borderline and you're trying to kind of put your value system, your morality on someone who has very little morality or value um, system because of their um, disorder. I think that part of, in most cases, people with borderline personality, personality disorder, they have had some sort of childhood trauma. So I don't know that much about her as far as her history is concerned. Um, so I don't know. I know that her father had many children. Sounds like they were all over Milwaukee and Chicago. I don't know, you know, if he was in her household, was there some trauma there? But usually 
um, someone with borderline has come from some traumatic um, history. So I don't know. People with borderline have a very difficult time maintaining relationships. Oftentimes we see them in multiple um, marriages, multiple relationships. Um, I know that she's single, but she has clearly talked about um, having friends or dates. Um, I'm not sure what that means, but someone with borderline, very difficult for them to maintain a relationship. Difficult for them to express true love um, for someone, um, true kindness towards someone. Because oftentimes, with that, with that um, disorder, they really just care about themselves. And we saw that um, with her um, and how things went down with her and Wall. It was not about him. It was about her and what she wanted, what she needed. They have a, no filter. Most of us would never go on the Internet and express some of the things that she has expressed on the on the internet openly about herself but she doesn't have that filter she doesn't have it so for her it's not a big deal to tell someone that my mother co-signed for me for this apartment but yet she's showing us this apartment that she's very proud of um, and, and kind of showboating, but at the same time, she already disclosed that she couldn't even get it without her mother's signature. And that somebody else had promised to do it, but then he fell through. So just the no filter, no like, oh, maybe this, maybe I shouldn't expose that. Um, they're oftentimes borderline people are liars. That's what they do. They lie. Um, in my field, I mean, I know therapists and psychiatrists and psychologists who when they do treat someone with borderline they make sure they have their door open or they have someone else in the office with them because oftentimes someone with a borderline personality disorder will lie and say that they were you know someone was sexually abusing them or um, mistreating them in some way so Within our field, I know, you know, we, we're just careful with someone who has a borderline personality because of that feature of the disorder. She really has little ability to care. Like, it doesn't bother her, Adrian, that she has disrespected Walt, that she, you know, said things about Bela, that she talked about her mother, she talk about you. She doesn't have the ability to have empathy about that. Um, so the more videos that are made about her and the more commentary that is done about her, it really feeds her disorder. It doesn't make her better. She's not feeling shame about what she's done. The only thing she's doing now is calculating her next move and calculating how am I going to get Walt back? How am I going to get this one back? How am I going to expose that one? That's what she's doing. She's not upset. She's not crying. She's not doing anything that would most people would do if they made a bad choice. But for somebody with borderline personality disorder, that's not what she does. She just did a video where she's laughing. <laughs> That's the space that she's in. Um, is there hope for her? Is there treatment options for her? Sadly, no. Yes and no. Treating someone with borderline personality is very difficult. One, because they don't stay in treatment. Usually they fire their therapist or they, they hop around from therapist to therapist. They don't tell the truth. Very difficult to treat. Very difficult 
to see long lasting stability for them. There are medications that can help slow down the, the, the thinking, um, give them a chance to kind of think, you know, psychotherapy to help them to try to figure out how to connect feeling to action. But overall, I would say, no, this is who she will be um, until she is no more. Um, all I can say is that people in her life, keep your distance from her, keep your wall up, set boundaries with her. No, Adrian, I'm not going to give you a thousand dollars just like Walt did. Um, but I think when you set boundaries with her is when she explodes. You know, who knows if that's what happened with her with B Love. Maybe B Love was like, no, Adrian, I'm not gonna tag you in my video and then she exploded. I don't know if that happened, but probably. So I would say as far as you know, her followers, you guys can pray and pray and and whatever, you know, do whatever you can do and and give her good vibes and positive thoughts. Do all that stuff. Because she does need to feel like somebody loves her. Um, I think that helps. But don't expect anything different. That this is who she is. And also if you know anyone else in your life. That exhibits these types of, these types of um, symptoms. Then now you know you can. You know it, it has a name. Is it an excuse? No, but it's, it is what it is. Um, and this is why they behave and act the way they do. So that's it. I'm hoping this will be the last video on Adrian because I know that this is feeding her psychosis. And as a professional, I don't want to do that. But as a YouTuber, I feel like I can give other people a little bit of insight into this particular um, mental disorder. So thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell someone that you think may need a diagnosis to come check out Psychology Eats. Thank you.